Well, it's obviously a great pleasure to be in this new building. We've been in the building now for several weeks and uh, the students and postdocs and other professional staff uh, have all been enthusiastic about the change in the venue, uh, the uh, laboratory conditions for doing research. Uh, the laboratories are much more open, there's greater opportunity for interaction. In the old building we were confined to small spaces in this, in this building the labs are very open. The um, equipment has greatly improved. The uh, faci other facilities required for doing the research are also state-of-the-art and so the uh, students and postdocs are all very excited about the, uh, their ability to not only do better research but also complete the, their projects more rapidly and so this has all been a very uh, pleasant change in our um, our activities. The labs here are devoted to a number of different kinds of research all related to trying to reduce the morbid, morbid, morbidity and mortality associated with a number of different human diseases. Uh, we focus primarily on cancer because it has been the uh, our initial introduction into developing drugs for treatment of human disease but as we have progressed in this effort we've discovered that we have insights and opportunities to develop uh, new therapies for a lot of autoimmune diseases including rheumatoid arthritis, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, Crohn's disease, multiple sclerosis and these sorts of pathologies and also we're working now uh, very intensely on a number of uh, infectious diseases uh, including uh, uh, malaria. We're starting clinical trials in malaria and uh, also uh, some uh, bacterial and even viral diseases including influenza and HIV and then uh, more recently we've moved into heart disease and Alzheimer's and some of the other uh, problems that plague uh, the aging population in the in the US. We have a number of rooms that are dedicated to different uh, types of, of uh, chemistry and biology. This room itself has been set aside uh, for uh, instrumentation and uh, development of new methods. We have in here instruments that help us purify proteins, detect impurities, uh, analyze the structures of small molecules and drugs, uh, uh, increase their uh, purities, uh, reduce the uh, toxicities associated with their administration and so forth. So we've got about 20 different instruments in this room that we use for these applications. I can take you on to a few other rooms and we can show you the types of activities that uh, occur in those rooms also. Uh, over here, let's uh, <laughs> we have uh, some labs that are uh, dedicated to organic synthesis. Uh, we're uh, synthesizing new drugs, drugs that we design uh, theoretically during our meetings. Then we come in and execute the designs by making the molecules. Here is a uh, student working on uh, the synthesis of uh, drugs related to uh, treatment of cancer. Uh, at the far end we also have uh, a postdoc working on drugs related also to treat uh, a different kind of cancer, brain cancers. We can Go on to some other labs now. Um, <laughs> this is uh this is wet lab space for biochemistry and other applications. With every new uh, drug that we design we have to have information on the target molecule that in, in the cell that the drug is designed to inhibit or modify and for that purpose we have to isolate the this protein or other molecule in the cell that causes the disease and then understand its interaction with the drugs that we design to treat that disease and these wet lab space here uh, that don't aren't they're not designed for organic chemistry they're designed for biochemistry and so the we have the equipment and uh, supplies necessary for doing biochemical experiments here I'll uh, take you on uh, right next door here we have a room um, dedicated for uh, storing our chemicals they're all uh, um, 
placed here in alphabetical order. This particular room uh, is for storing uh, dry chemicals, powders and things of this sort. We also have some other rooms that are designed for storing li liquids. These rooms are well ventilated so the uh, user doesn't have to breathe the chemicals that could in some cases be harmful to them. This room uh, just over here is our centrifuge room. We have in this room some high-speed centrifuges and some low-speed centrifuges on the opposite side. Uh, these centrifuges are required for the purification of proteins and uh, membranes that we use in studying the action of all the drugs that we design. So they're uh, very important for all the uh, studies that we perform. Um, this uh, room right here is um, contains some imaging equipment. Uh, oft times as we treat animals, we have to follow the progress of the therapy. This requires very sophisticated instrumentation for imaging the disease, looking at the change in the, in the area or, or uh, volume occupied by the, the diseased tissue in the, in the animal, as well as looking at the, uh, using other measurements to follow the intensity of the disease. And so we have instruments here and also in the basement of Hansen that we purchased for drug discovery uh, that uh, allow us to monitor the progress of our therapies in live animals. So um, then uh, this room right here, it's a little bit uh, out of sorts, is for uh, working with radioactivity. Whenever we uh, design a new drug, we have to ask the question, where is this drug going in the body? And we, we again use animal models that contain the disease or that are expressing the disease that is found in humans. And we um, uh, look at the distribution of the drug that we design in all the tissues, healthy tissues and diseased tissues alike in these animal disease models. So if we're studying cancer, we want to see how much of the drug goes to the cancer and how much goes to the heart, the liver, the lung, the spleen, the brain, the bone marrow, and so forth. The same is the case with other drugs to treat, for example, multiple sclerosis. We want to know how much goes to the inflamed brain tissue and how much goes to other tissues and so forth. So we have to radio label our drugs and we follow their, their distribution by monitoring where the radioactivity goes. And this room is dedicated for use of radioactivity. This room is a cold room. Uh, often our, um, ex uh, some experiments have to be done under very cold conditions because proteins will denature at room temperature whereas they're often well preserved at low temperatures. And so we do a lot of the studies uh, in uh, a, a whole room that is maintained at about freezing temperature. And as you walk in, you can definitely feel the cold. It feels very refreshing on a hot day like today. And uh, these various items of equipment here are dedicated to uh, being run under low temperatures and they allow us to purify and, and, and characterize our proteins at low temperature. We have um, uh, hoods uh, that allow us to use uh, and, and culture human cells in a dish and study them. We have, we have cancer cells, we have cells that cause all sorts of other diseases. We maintain all of these diseased cells in uh, plastic dishes and culture uh, rooms and we have to do all of this culturing under very antiseptic conditions because we, if they get contaminated with bacteria then we can't use the cells. And so we have these rooms like this to enable us to work with these human uh, pathologic cell types uh, that we are trying to treat and cure. Um, <laughs> in addition to uh, human cells, we also study uh, other 
cell types that are uh, called pathogens. These are bacteria, viruses, and um, parasites that can lead to various human diseases. For example, in this particular room, in this chamber here, we're uh, culturing what is called Plasmodium falciparum. This is the scientific name for malaria, and we're working on new therapies for malaria, and we work on these hazardous pathogens in this protected room. Uh, we also work on influenza virus, on HIV, on a number of um, infectious bacteria like um, uh, Staphylococcus aureus that's uh, that's methicillin resistant, the MRSA as people call it. We're working on some other drug resistant pathogens too to try to again uh, treat many diseases that cause a lot of morbidity and mortality in the human population. So that's what this room's dedicated to. This is one of the nicest perks of this new building is this exterior external patio uh, set up so that you can come out and enjoy a beautiful day. And it's set up with tables to eat or study on and so forth. And uh, uh, we have a beautiful view out. Right now it's full of construction, but very soon this area you're looking at now will be uh, filled in with grass and it will be planted with flowers and trees and it'll be a beautiful quad. So this should be a very scenic area. The future of this building will involve filling it with very highly, highly qualified faculty members with a major focus of their research on the design of new drugs to treat important human diseases. We're currently in the process of hiring a number of these very prominent drug researchers from eminent institutions across the country. We we uh, think we have some excellent candidates lined up and time will tell how many of these we are able to, to attract to Purdue, but this new building will make it immensely easier to uh, bring in the top quality talent in the country and we hope uh, when we're successful with this effort that we will have the preeminent drug discovery institution and academia in the U.S. and perhaps even in the world. Uh, that's our goal and we intend to achieve that goal.